In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an entire logo using only the geometric shapes. And the logo I'm showing you is an old like World War II uh, military logo that you saw on a lot of airplane wings and things like that. It has a lot of basic shapes, so it's an ideal candidate for using the geometric shapes. Now remember, the geometric shapes come in all the digitizing levels of EOS and Stitch and so. So any program you have, as far as that goes, will create these. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by doing the uh, blue background, then the white, and then the two little red stripes. However, I may deviate from that a little bit while we're doing it, just for simplicity's sake and to show you a few more features. First of all, we're going to create is the fill area. So we're going to make a rectangle. It's set to normal fill, no holes, anything like that. So we're just going to make a rectangle right here. And I don't really care about the stitch angle or anything at this point. I'm just going to make it. I'm going to turn off the realistic, make it a little easier to show. And hide stitches. Make a circle. Or an ellipse, as they say. And we're going to stitch it also. Now what we have, as you can see, is a rectangle and a circle. Now that for some people might be fine. Uh, for me, I don't particularly care the fact that this whole area here is overlapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say merge. And what that does is that eliminates all that common area in between the two. What we need to do now is cut some voids for these white sections. So I'm going to zoom in here and we're going to cut a little rectangle hole. So we're going to edit, edit right click, and we're going to say insert a hole rectangle. Now remember this is still the geometric shapes so we're going to cut this little hole here. Now we like to cut holes with some area around them. That allows the stitching to overlap and so you don't get a gap in your embroidery. So we're going to say stitch it and as you can see, we have a void. Now we're just going to go to the other side. We're going to do the exact same thing. Insert hole, rectangle. Now I could use Freeform or any of the other tools to do this, but I told you I was going to use just the geometric shapes, and that's why we're doing it this way. It's actually kind of fast this way too. All right, so we're going to cut a star hole now. So insert hole star and we're going to hide the stitches to make our life a little easier so we can see this a little bit better and then I move the little star hole right there stitch it and bring the stitches back and you can see if we hide the image that we have our basic fill area now what we want to do is we want to create the white star on top so using the geometric shapes again, we go to the star tool and go from there to there and position the star right there. Now I want this to be white, so I'm going to go ahead and pick white and stitch it. Now. I personally don't like the fill stitch on top of fill stitch look, you may, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to change this to the column. It makes a much nicer appearance to the star. Next we're going to do this white fill area. So we're going to go here with the rectangle tool and I'm just going to make a solid fill this section. You'll notice that I don't have this curved edge. I'll show you how to make that in a sec. Let's click stitch it and just stitch it out. What we'll do is we're going to go to edit and convert to basic curves. What convert to basic curves does is breaks the link to the rectangle tool and makes it a shape as if you made it by hand. So that allows me to Move these points and get that little curved section in there. And 
I know that the left and right sides are identical, so I'm going to make the entire left side right now. Make another rectangle here. That little curve section I could convert to basic curves, but it's so small, it's not really going to matter. So I'm going to make that red, and we're going to stitch it. Let's go ahead and make this stitch angle. Let's go ahead and make this stitch angle straight up and down, which is opposite the other. It helps show a lot better. We're going to select these two using the select tool. Select these two, and we're going to say duplicate. Bring that over to here. And you notice that curved edge. We need to flip it so that it's on the inside. And we position it right where we want it and apply it. Now all we have to do is reorder these two red blocks right here to the end of the design. So we're going to select both of these and just drag them to the end. And there's our logo. Now if we want, we can go around the outside edge with a nice little satin border. We'll click on Edit, Embroidery Settings, and we're going to say the outline is a satin outline. Apply. A little too bold for my liking, so we're going to come down here to the general and set it to maybe 15. Much nicer. As you can see, that's how we made the entire logo using only the geometric shapes.